Hello and welcome to the first episode of video upload, whatever you want to call it, of Lorianne is Batty. Um, some of you know I talked about creating a YouTube channel last year, and I had originally thought about calling it Batty Universe because I was going to do reaction videos to be watching Star Trek. The next generation all the way through for the first time and when i thought about reviving the channel this year i thought about that title and i came to the conclusion that it sounded more a channel about bat conservation or teaching people about bats which don't get me wrong i would love to do and you know if i had known bat keeper was a career choice i might have made different life choices but we are where we are and then i thought about batty lorianne and again that sounded more like is a channel for a conservationist so i went with lorianne is batty because i am if you are familiar with the beauty space there's a youtuber named Teresa's dead and it's kind of similar to that but it's not a ripoff but i do love her and if you love totally unfiltered brutally honest Beauty reviews, go check out Teresa's day. She's hysterical. Love her. So, why a YouTube channel? Anyway, everybody's on TikTok now. First of all, I'm not on TikTok. And I prefer long form content, which it cracks me up now that long form is like five, 10 minutes. Like, it's ridiculous. I like a 10, 15 minutes, 20 minute, hour long video, way way better so i wanted to create content that i would i would want to consume and i watch a lot of youtube so here i am i mostly watch a lot of like beauty skincare vlogs and that sort of thing so that's kind of the reason for me creating a youtube channel instead of one of the other content outlets these days and i know that to be, you know, successful on YouTube, or I should choose one topic and really lean into that, but I can't choose. Here we are. It's going to be a catch-all till I decide what it is I really want to talk about or what it is you really want to hear me talk about. So in the intro of this video, it says life reviews and craftiness. Let's break that down, shall we? I think life pretty much sums it up. I may do some vlogs. Um, some vlogs. I very rarely leave my house, though. I don't know how interesting that would be. Maybe a week in the life of. Typically, if I do leave my house, I go to dance rehearsal. And most of that, I would not film out of respect for the other ladies I dance with. Maybe some vlogs. I would like to do maybe some story times. I've had some really unique experiences living in Las Vegas for 20 years now. I worked in entertainment for the majority of that time. So interesting stories and maybe some videos just on living in Las Vegas in general, not content for tourists, but actually living here, maybe some Vegas history, going to the corner where Tupac was shot because most people think it was on the strip. It wasn't story time about how my old landlord's office was haunted by a red fox, so that sort of thing. Um, I would, yeah, I'd really like to share more about real Las Vegas. I also have a bunch of crazy stories from growing up goth in rural Virginia in the 90s and uh, being an art school girl of doom. So, some crazy stuff. Yeah, and, and, and going along with life, one of my goals this year, and I put it on my vision board, is to really clean and declutter my house. I've been here about four years now, so there's plenty of stuff that I have moved in and haven't touched since. Or things that are no longer relevant to my life. I don't like cleaning. It's, it, it does not bring me joy. But the one thing that does bring me joy are systems and processes. And I've recently discovered two different cleaning like methods. The Clean Mama and the Fly Lady. And I, I'm leaning towards Fly Lady because it's a little bit more structured. And she's all about setting a timer for like 10 minutes. And then you're just done after the 10 minutes. So I feel like if I put this out there and commit to documenting it i will actually go through with it and do it if you're interested in that let me know or hey if you want to do the fly lady with me let's do it together i plan on doing the baby steps first before fully jumping into the fly lady method yeah, and just decluttering letting things go 
And I was like, I'm not going to, if I film it, I'm not going to like YouTube film it. I'm not going to clean before I clean. I mean, my house is not like hoarder level. It's not disgusting, but you know, there's, it's, there's some places that could use a lot for sure. And then finally talking about my health journey and my mental health journey. I live with several invisible ailments, as they like to say, all officially diagnosed by doctors, not by Google. And those are mostly Hashimoto's, generalized anxiety disorder, depression, and OCD. And I'm more obsessive than compulsive. So talking about the difference there, most people understand compulsion. Those are like, you know, you have to lock your door three times or you have like really ritualized behavior. Whereas obsessive is like your thoughts get in a little loop. Yeah. And just showing what it's like when I'm feeling good, when my Hashimoto's is doing good, or when I have a flare and I run out of spoons by like noon. So if you're interested in that sort of content, I am an open book when it comes to to pretty much anything. And I can show some of my dance journey. I am back to belly dancing. And I would like to get back to ballet this year. I did not, I don't think I took ballet at all last year. I took up ballet two years ago as an adult for the first time, and it was the hardest thing I've ever done. But I loved it because the structure and process as well. I love that. Bar is the same thing every time. I mean, not exactly the same exercises, but, you know, plies, tendus, degages. It's, I love it. Structure and process, that's what the life means. Then the next part was reviews. And when it comes to reviews, I definitely don't want to be a beauty and skincare channel because there are a million of them. But I would like to share some of the things I use and talk about products that work or don't work for me. I follow a lot of beauty and skincare YouTubers and none of them have the same skin issues that I do. Some of them have, like, I checked two of the boxes, but nobody does all three, which are, I'm over 40. I have dry skin, partly from the Hashimoto's, and I live in the desert. So, one of the YouTubers I really like, Stephanie Marie, she's over 40, eh, has combination skin. She's a little bit more light medium than I am. She lives in New Orleans. That is like the complete opposite humidity level that I ever deal with. Geek out of water. Love her. We're pretty much the same complexion. She's over 40. She has dry skin. She lives in the mountains in Virginia, which is still way more humid than what I deal with here in Las Vegas. That's kind of it as far as uh, beauty skincare reviews. I just, I don't see anybody that's like, my age, super dry, and living in an actual desert. Oh, oh, oh. And I mentioned Teresa said earlier, she does a video like once a month, twice a month, I forget. It's called New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, where, and she does them with collaboration with a couple other YouTubers, where they make a bingo card and they like kind of randomize a bunch of new makeup releases. And drink while they like try to pull their bingo card. And it's hysterical. And I would like to try my hand at doing that if you guys are interested. I pretty much always lose at bingo. So I imagine by the time I filled my bingo card, I'd be pretty tipsy. But I'm a fun drunk. I'm a happy, happy drunk guy. I pretty much get to the I love you guys part pretty, pretty easily. I also subscribe to a clothing subscription that I get about once a quarter. It's called Short Story. Uh, it's specifically for petite women. It's pretty size inclusive. I just take a bunch of pictures and post them on my Facebook, my personal Facebook. And people seem to love that. So I can do videos on that. Short story can be really good or can be really bad. And I have a lot of opinions. And I'm I'm very picky about clothing. And again, I hardly even leave my house. So there's that. Finally, when it comes to reviews, I am an avid reader. And when I was talking about starting a channel, one of the things that was mentioned was doing book reviews. So maybe doing an end of the month, like recap of everything I read. I'll read just about anything. And uh, I get a lot of ARCs or advanced reader copies, either directly from authors or through this program I'm part of. 
So, yeah, would love to talk books, connect on Goodreads. I do mostly read romance. I read a lot of trash, mostly because I don't watch watch trash TV. I just read it. But it's fun. It's entertaining. But I'll read um, sci-fi, mystery, anything, biographies. I do also try to read something business related. I didn't mention that in life. I could talk about my entrepreneurial journey from being uh, an employee for 14 years to going to working for myself for the last three years and what that looks like. Ups and downs, pros and cons of that. Finally, the last part was craftiness. During the pandemic, I took up diamond painting and shortly after that cross stitch they're very similar a lot of times they'll use the same pattern diamond painting uses the same color naming as as cross stitch the dmc codes and i did have you know someone say hey make some diamond painting videos they're both very soothing to me as far as my anxiety as far as cross stitch i wouldn't really do any how-tos because my cross stitching sucks and then i only do painted or stamped cross stitch which, which basically the Pattern is already down and you just basically sew by, sew by numbers. Uh, it's very soothing for me though. And there's, let's just face it. Some days you, you really need to stab something precisely and repeatedly. Yeah. And also when I travel, which isn't much lately, or like, you know, just go like spend the night at my friend's house or whatever. It's a lot easier for me to roll up my cross stitch and throw that in my bag as opposed to, you know, diamond painting with all my tools and all the diamonds and canvas and it's just too much stuff. But that's why I enjoy cross stitch. And so I can do some whip and chats, as they say, in the in the craft world work in progress and chats. So some of my story times could combine with showing you my projects that I'm working on, that sort of thing. And yeah. Welcome to Lorianne is Batty. Push the buttons, do the things to like and subscribe if you want to see future videos from me. Down in the description below, you will find information about bat conservation. Very important. And stay patent, my friend.